Hello folks, it's Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews. I'm here at the Ben Avery Shooting Facility in Phoenix, Arizona with the brand new uh, Springfield Armory St. Victor 308 rifle. It's an AR-10 style rifle. It uses the DPMS style magazines, so we're using, we're going to be using the Magpul magazines. And the rifle here comes with a Bravo Company adjustable uh, carbine stock, the Bravo Company grip. It has the Springfield Armory proprietary uh, muscle brake uh, compensator, a flip up front and rear sights, and I'm gonna be using this Bushnell Forge scope from 3 to 18 power. This is a really good uh, mill dot scope. And it's really, really good, really bright to look through it. Um, I just threw this scope in, sighted it in, and we're gonna be shooting at a distance of 50 yards. So let's go ahead and shoot it. This rifle has all sorts of really cool features. Also, the trigger is the flat style trigger, Springfield Armory, and the handguard is the 15 inch M-Lock style handguard. This is really good handguard, uh, makes, makes it for real comfortable shooting and holding of your uh, firearm. We're gonna be sh uh, doing several projects on this um, St. Victor rifle. So let's start with it as it comes from the factory with just throwing a new scope in it so we can shoot at 50 yards. Uh, my abilities are not that good to be shooting open sights with it. So I'm gonna tell you from the beginning, I'm not a rifle shooter, but I'm really enjoying this rifle so far. Let's shoot it a little bit and let's come back and talk about it. First things first, I'm gonna shoot the rifle at a distance of 50 yards. I am not gonna be testing my ability of shooting the rifle, but the rifle's ability of shooting at a distance of 50 yards. I'm gonna be using the uh, Federal American Eagle 150 grain ammunition. This is the standard range ammo. This is not precision ammo. This is not uh, high-end performance ammo. It's just basically range ammo. I'm gonna shoot a three-round group, 50 yards. See how it shoots. Um, I'm happy the way it performs. Um, the last one I threw is top right about an inch away. The other two are a pretty tight group. Okay, my first group was pretty good. It was uh, pretty effective. Uh, two of the rounds were pretty close to each other with standard ammunition. Um, one of the, the third round just went high right and was my fault. It wasn't the rifle or the ammunition. This three-round group is going to be using the Remington standard 168-grain uh, bowtail hollow point. This is a, a little higher-end ammunition. It's not matched, but it's really good ammunition. So let's go ahead and shoot three-round group with it. Well, that group looks a whole lot better with uh, 168 grain. This goes to show you that sometimes the rifle likes different kinds of bullet weight or bullet designs. And this one here is a really, really good group for me and my ability to shoot this rifle. Okay, my third and final group for testing today is going to be using the Lapua Aficionado um, ammunition. This is 168 grain bow tail hollow point made by Lapua. So we're gonna go ahead and try it and see how it performs compared to the other two.
Well, this is what they call Lapua, one of the best ammunition out there. Two other rounds, the first two rounds are actually touching. So I'm really impressed. I'm thinking that this ammunition is going to be really good high performer for us on this rifle. And that's what I said before. It's not the rifle, it's not the ammo, it's the combination of the ammo and rifle. And of course, the nut behind the rifle is very important too. And that's the only failure I have here is I'm not a really good rifle shooter. So let's go look at it and see how it goes. Go. Okay, here's the first target, uh, three round group from 50 yards using the Federal ammunition. Um, this is the 150 grain bullet. It performed really well. This one, I think it was me. It was my fault. I pulled that one to the right a little bit. The second group was with the Remington ammunition, the 168 grain. That's pretty consistent, and I tried to be a little more consistent with it, um, trying to get a better group, but it was pretty good. And this is the one with the Lapua ammo. I'm pretty impressed. These two rounds are touching. So I think I'm going to try to get more of that ammunition and shoot it a little more. But I have all sorts of kinds of ammo from all different premium ammunition from all sorts of different manufacturers. We're going to be trying this rifle with all kinds of ammunition. This is just, we did this one today because this is what we wanted to get is get some information at 50 yards, which is something that I think is a limit for me. I can do 100 yards, okay, but 50 yards with a little wind, we almost have no wind today, which is great. So I'm not gonna get any uh, wind uh, fluctuations or anything like that. So let's go ahead and shoot it a little more. I think this rifle is really fun to shoot. It's a great new rifle. I'm really enjoying it, so. Well guys, that was fun. I am not a rifle shooter, and this rifle performed much better than me. The rifle and the combination of the rifle and the scope is fantastic. The scope, you might think, oh, that's a really huge scope. Well, actually, you know what? It's not that big, it's really lightweight, and you can actually shoot this rifle offhand, which I'm gonna be doing at a later date. We're gonna shoot some steel with it. So. Stay tuned, we're gonna continue working on this rifle. We might do a couple of little modifications and I'm gonna show you a couple of the features that the rifle has that might make it a little better. So stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.